We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number five. Why the sudden curiosity about your dad, huh? Mother, you can't avoid the subject forever. At least tell me what he was like. I want to talk to you about my mother. Well, what about your mother? Dad, I'm almost 12. How long do you expect me to buy that story that the stork dropped me on your doorstep? Everyone in the world believes they're unique in their own way. Annie James and Hallie Parker are about to discover. This is so freaky. They're both unique in the same way. That's my mom. That's my dad. And you and I are like, like sisters. Hallie, we're like twins. I have a brilliant idea. I think we should switch places. I'll go back to London as you, and you go back to California as me. If we switch, they'll have to unstitch us. And when they do, they'll have to meet again face to face. Honey, you never looked better. Welcome home, kiddo. Dad. Finally. Now, two sisters. Come back. Mother. Are setting the perfect trap. It seems like it's been forever. I have no idea. To bring their parents back together. This is an emergency. Dad's in love. What? Bring your shirt like this. I like it when I can see a little chest hair. It's disgusting. If there's any hope of getting mom and dad back together, we've got to do it fast. I am marrying your father in two weeks, and nothing you do is going to come between us. Ah! Hi, Mary. Hello. How you doing? Ah! Both of them? From the makers of Father of the Bride. Does everyone here know something I don't know? Yes. Dennis Quaid, Natasha Richardson, and introducing Lindsay Lohan. Star, I see tonight. Mom's amazing. Don't know how you ever let her go. I wish I may. I wish I might. Have my wish, wish come true tonight. tonight. Disney's The Parent Trap. Number four. Have you read Marley and Me? Yeah. Sad. Why is it sad? You don't know what happens? No, that's why I'm reading it. What, does the dog die at the end? No, I'm not saying anything. Look how much I had left. I was thinking you'd come stay with me. It's okay if I tell him we're trying to get pregnant. That's great. And yep. you say we are because it's not sexist that way, right? That's what you told me. Yeah. I can't wait to be the creepy gay uncle. You're hired. Well, last I heard you moved to LA to be an actor. Yeah, did you not hear I won an Oscar? Oh. Surprise. Oh, no. back from the dead. What are you doing here? Um, when did the boys show up? It's dyke night, sweetie. It's what? Dyke night. You're my brother. We're supposed to be there for each other. I'm tired of you acting like you're the healthy one and I'm your special needs oh, kid. I get depressed about my life. So you're not a famous actor? I got news for you. No one's a famous actor. George Clooney's a famous actor. Okay, George Clooney, I guess that's one exception. Why do we go 10 years without talking? Well, it's probably not worth talking about now. You have to tell me a secret. I slept with my scuba instructor. Maggie! Wouldn't it be easier just to tell Lance you're not ready to have a kid? What am I gonna do? I told somebody that I was in town. Don't freak out. Hi, Angel. Mother. <laughs> Wow. You know what? You need to take the edge off. Standing here beside you. What are you doing? Want so much to give you this love in my heart that I'm feeling for you. And I'm saying we're crazy. What do they know? I say you put on something pretty. We're going out. Dad always told us to stick together, no matter what. Maybe we should have a dude's day. I think your version of dude's day and my version are totally different. Awesome! Awesome! Number three. London in the 1960s. Everyone had a story about Christ. I come here for a proper shootout. What do you do with that rolling pit? You're gonna bake me a cake. Rich. You won't mind if I fight back, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Let 
These are the Cray twins, Ronald and Reginald. You take my breath away. You must be Francis. Hi. Do you think what we look like? <laughs> Do you like being a gangster? I like the money and the respect. Your brother Rob is violent and psychopathic. He's off his rocker. Well, no, 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 no. A shootout, right? It's a shootout. Like a West. <laughs> we are talking about being gangsters, which is what we are. The Mafia's made inquiries. London is going to be the Las Vegas of Europe. We can handle it. You come to Philadelphia and see a nice Italian girl, we'll get it for you. I prefer boys. Italians. Sometimes Greek, but I am not prejudiced. You got a lot of balls to admit that, kid. Me and my brother, we're gonna rule London. Yeah, you're not laughing now, are you? Are you mad? Do something about Rod. I can't do that. He's my brother. Don't want a life like this. She knows too many things about us. We're going down into the sewer after the craze. My loyalty for my brother is how I measure myself. What about your loyalty to me? Crime is still a business. You don't want a war. Yeah, I do, actually. Listen to yourself, Ron. You're nuts! Blood is thicker than water. You hit me. You're not afraid of anything. Well, I need myself, you know. And you. Mm. Number two. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Beverly Mantle. By every scientific measure, they are absolutely the same. They share everything. You haven't had any experience until I've had it too. Bev, you've got to try the movie style. She's unbelievable. Doctor, you've cured me. You mean to say there's two of them? They're twins, dear. I think we should drop her then. You drop her. I'm in love with that. I'll be in love if it does this to you, can it? Doctor, I think there's something wrong with you. Patients are getting strange. What are they? For working on mutant women. From David Cronenberg, who in the fly made the fantastic real. Get him out of here! Radical technology was required. Something radical is definitely required. Now, David Cronenberg makes reality the ultimate fantasy. Dead ringers. Separation can be a, a terrifying thing. Number one. She hates me. She's disappointed. I could see it in her eyes when we met. I've got to stop sweating. Oh, she looked at my hairline. She thinks I'm bald. She's thinking I would never in a million years sleep with this guy. We think you're great. Oh, thanks. Wow, that's, that's nice to hear. To begin, coffee would help me think. In a muffin. I'm going up to Santa Barbara this Saturday, and I I was wondering. Oh. I'm sorry. So I'll just be right back with your pie then. Drum roll, please. I'm gonna be a screenwriter like you. I'm putting in a chase sequence. So the killer flees on horseback, cops after them on a motorcycle, and it's like a battle between motors and horses, like technology versus horse. Susan, we would really like to option this. You want to make it into a movie? I want to know what it feels like to care about something passionately. Don LaRoche is a tall guy, sharply handsome. The book has no story. There's no story. Make one up. OK, we open with LaRoche. No, we open at the beginning of time. OK, we open with LaRoche. Crazy white man. We open on Charlie Kaufman. Fat, bald, ugly, paces. No! myself into my screenplay. That's kind of weird, huh? I 
I guess we thought that maybe Susan and LaRoche could fall in love. I just don't want to ruin it by making it a Hollywood thing. It's like I don't want to cram in sex or guns or car chases or characters overcoming obstacles to succeed in the end. She's crying. What's she hiding from? Her? I think you actually need to speak to this woman to know her. People find love, people lose it. Every day, someone somewhere takes a conscious decision to destroy someone else. Who's gonna play me? Oh, I think I should play me. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. And for more top 5 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.